In our factoring and algebraic fractions course, we have to learn how to simplify algebraic fractions. Each of these is an algebraic fraction, and we're going to start with the middle one. The first step is to factor. I'm going to factor this numerator over here. A equals 2. B equals negative 9. C equals 9. And the product AC equals 18. What two numbers multiply to give 18, but add to give negative 9? Those numbers are negative 6 and negative 3. We rewrite our trinomial, 2b squared plus bracket, and we will write negative 6 minus 3 inside the bracket, plus 9b plus 9. Rewriting, 2b squared minus 6b minus 3b plus 9. Doing the grouping, common factor 2b, b minus 3, common factor negative 3, b minus 3. The result of our factoring of the complex trinomial is 2b minus 3 in the numerator times b minus 3. Factor in the denominator, what two numbers multiply to give negative 6 and add to give negative 1? That would be negative 3 and 2, so we have b minus 3, b plus 2. Cancelling, we have a b minus 3 on the bottom and on the top, so our final answer is 2b minus 3 over b plus 2. Let's move on to this example over here. What two numbers multiply to give 4 and add to give negative 5? That would be negative 4 and negative 1. Our numerator is a minus 4 times a minus 1. Factoring the difference of squares in the denominator, we get 4 minus a, 4 plus a. We want to cancel these two, but we have to do the trick with the negative 1 in order to make them cancelable. I choose to factor a negative 1 out of the a minus 4 in the numerator. We have negative 1 times 4 minus a times a minus 1 over the same denominator, 4 minus a, 4 plus a. The two 4 minus a's cancel, and your answer is negative 1 times a minus 1 over 4 plus a, or you can multiply the negative 1 into either the numerator or the denominator to get an equivalent correct answer. The last example. In the numerator, I start by factoring out a negative 1, and I get c squared plus c minus 6. The denominator is a difference of squares. It factors to 3 minus c, 3 plus c. After taking out the negative 1, I apply the simple trinomial method, and I say which two numbers multiply to give negative 6 and add to give positive 1, that will be 3 and negative 2. I end up with the negative 1, c plus 3, c minus 2 in the numerator, 3 minus c, and 3 plus c in the denominator. I have a c plus 3 and a 3 plus c, which will cancel. My final answer will have the negative 1, it will have c minus 2, and it will have 3 minus c. Again, if you wish, you can multiply the negative 1 into either the numerator or the denominator to get another equivalent correct answer. This is simplifying algebraic fractions.